What is up, people? Yes, I am back with more Battlefield 4. <laughs> Look at that. That rhymed. <laughs> so I thought I would give you guys some good tips today, some solid tips, some tank tips, actually. Some very useful tips to successfully defend your first base on Silk Road Rush. Now, everyone knows this base is probably one of the hardest to defend in Battlefield 4, and it's easy to attack. And that is, of course, if everyone isn't running uh, the Recon class. And in general, if the attacking team is decent, they will take the base without any trouble. Defending, however, is a whole different story. You have a lot of open spaces, you don't have a lot of structures to take cover behind, and of course it's it's recon paradise, so you're not uh, particularly safe as, uh, as infantry. And uh, the only class that will actually do well on this map is either the recon class in my opinion, or the engineers class, which actually makes more sense, since your main concern is going to be the enemy armor. So your best bet is to get into a tank and defend the objective from armor and the infantry. So once you manage to spawn into your little tank, try to take cover behind those two sand hills that surround A. And hand back at the back of your base near B. And don't try to get up those hills to defend A because that will get you killed very fast. Stay low, stay low as possible and avoid exposing yourself too much. Because the way you want to play the tanks is going to be very similar to when you play any other infantry class, actually. Just be sure to always have some kind of cover to tug behind when you're being overrun or taking too much damage. Uh, Peekin, actually, is also a very good strategy, one that I use all the time. Uh, because it's not because you're riding around in an armored vehicle that you are invincible to infantry. You're not. You're definitely not. All it takes is, is maybe two rockets or one of those uh, UCAV thingies with a C4 strapped to it or some kind of explosive to completely, completely immobilize you. So be careful, guys. Be careful and stay around cover when you're dealing with multiple enemies trying to attack you. And just peek to fire off one shot and get back behind cover while you're waiting for your cannon to reload. Try and apply these tips and you will see that you will do a lot better with ground vehicles. And you can do very well defending this base with only your tank. Just don't move up too far to A, let your teammates handle that one, it's okay if it gets destroyed. Your main focus is going to be B. Just hang back on that little road right next to B and keep staying behind cover while you're waiting for the enemy to attack. And make sure that the enemy doesn't try to flank you on the far right side of A, just behind that little sand hill. Or that, it's not little, it's big. I call it a sand hill, I don't even know if it's the right term. I, you know, <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna keep calling it a sand hill. And if there's any enemy armor coming in, chances are your teammates will spot it. And that's your cue to surprise the enemy and attack. Just move up on the enemy tank and try to get hit markers without getting in too close. And of course, people, always make sure that you have some sort of cover near to you, like the sand hills. <laughs> now watch this gameplay very carefully, alright? And look at my movement pattern. I have my eyes set on B, but I occasionally move up that hill to check if any enemies are moving up. And they have pretty much no idea where I am. They don't know exactly where I am because most of the time I am invincible to them behind that hill. And just keep doing that until the enemy team runs all out of tickets and you will take that victory. Just make sure that you have some sort of MG to take uh, take care of that infantry when necessary. And equip your main cannon with a sabot shell or, or sabot, sabot shell. I'm gonna call it sabot. With a little, little bit of Russian accent thrown in there. <laughs> Uh, that shell travels a lot faster and it will be a lot easier to take down the armor at range. I also highly recommend to use the zoom optics for this. And the very last tip that I want to give you guys is if you want to have a better sight over that hill without exposing yourself too much, just switch to the third person mode and uh, it will be a lot easier to spot all of the enemies. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, if you did, don't forget to click that like button. Really, click the like button. It makes me smile, people. It makes me happy. Put a smile on my face and click that like button. <laughs> and of course, if you want to see more of my content, do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the awesomeness that are my videos. All right, guys, that's it. I am Dolce, and I will see you in the next video.